Hi everyone, it's Linnea for Penguin Palace Stamps, and today I'm gonna to be working with one of the stamps from the summer release, and it's called Rabbit Cafe. And this little stamp set was just calling to me to be made into a little cafe scene. And I don't make a lot of scene cards. Usually I stick to clean and simple, so I thought that I would make a clean and simple scene card. So to start out with, I have this little brick pathway stamp set. And so I laid down some weathered wood distress ink to be the base. And then I'm coming back over top. There's another part that makes this like a cobblestone walkway. And I'm using some hickory smoke distress ink over that so that I get this two-toned walkway. And I think that's so super cute. And I wanted to keep going and create a background. So I masked off the walkway. There's a, another piece of the stencil that you can put right over top of it. And then I also used some wide purple tape, masked off the bottom of my card, and came in with some tumbled glass distress ink over the top to be my sky. I'm going to move my purple tape up and blend in some mowed lawn distress ink on the bottom. And when you are using tape to mask off certain areas, this distressed ink seems dry to the touch, but it is actually wet on the paper. So my tape didn't stick very well, and I thought that I could just keep on going and be fine, but my tape was moving all over the place, so I decided to just quickly dry my background and then keep going, and my tape stuck over that distress ink no problem once I had dried it. So I'm just going to keep on blending on my mowed lawn distress ink and I'm keeping it darker up at the top so that it kind of creates a shadow at the horizon line. And then I will keep on blending that down towards the bottom and it'll be lighter at the bottom. And you can see here that I kept my distress inking kind of splotchy because I wanted it to look like a lawn in a park. So I kept it kind of splotchy because I wasn't going to do any extra anything with the grass. I grabbed a bunch of the stamps from the Rabbit Cafe stamp set and lined them out kind of how I thought I would want them. And this just helps me figure out which stamps to actually ink up and stamp. Now in that shop window, there are a couple little icons that you can stamp. And I grabbed the coffee cup because look how well it lines up under that little banner. The steam from the coffee cup just lines up so perfectly there. So I decided to stamp that in the window. I decided to use alcohol markers to quickly and simply color these in, and I used a mix of Copic and Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend markers. Any alcohol marker would work for this kind of coloring, and really you could color however you like. If you have water brush markers or if you want to just use watercolor, any kind of coloring will work. These images are so cute, and today I just felt like using my alcohol markers. So to color the bunnies, I love white bunnies. So I just use my lightest gray Copic marker and just went around the edges of the image. No special shading or anything there, just one marker around the edges. I decided to make some terracotta pots for the plants. So I started with a tan blend and it was looking too brown and it was blending in with the dirt. So I actually went over it with a light red marker and then colored out again with the tan color and that blended the red and the brown together to create that terracotta color. Whenever I am coloring images, I try to stick to a few colors. So I decided to stick to this blue and brown, green and coral color theme. So as I'm coloring, I'm sticking to those main colors and adding those colors to my images. And that way, the colors are repeated, which makes it look more pleasing to the eye. And also, you don't have a color overload. So I stuck to that main coral as my main color. You're going to see a lot of them have the coral on there. And then I use secondary colors. For this little shop, I hand-lettered in the word coffee on the sign at the top and also the word open on the banner in the window. I just thought that would be a super cute little touch to kind of personalize my scene. I die cut everything out with the coordinating dies, and now I'm just gonna start laying out all of my images onto my inked card front. I decided not to use the actual little human girl and just go with the bunnies in the background. In the end, once I had everything glued down, I thought that she kind of looked out of place and it made the scene too cluttered. 
So I played around with my images a little bit and then I did end up adhering most of them down with liquid glue, but I popped up some of the images on foam tape that I wanted to be the center point. Before I glued anything down though, I loved the way that little walkway was in the greenery scene, but I thought that I needed to have some clouds in the sky. And this Rabbit Cafe stamp set has a tiny little cloud in the stamp set. So I white heat embossed a bunch of those into my background. Now I have everything glued down with a mixture of liquid adhesive and foam tape. And there are a bunch of sentiments in here. There's one that says beautiful day. And then there's some separate ones that stay like stay sweet, but I wanted it to stay, stay beautiful. So I cut apart that brutal day uh, sentiment just so I could use the word brutal and then also use the word stay. And it's perfectly okay to alter your stamps like this to cut them in half as long as you are not cutting through the portions that actually stamp. I just cut through the photopolymer in between the two words and you can always mount these together the way that they were intended to be used. I played around with the placement, making sure that I got them super straight in my Misty. And then I'm going to stamp them with some VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And that will be a super crisp black ink and it will stand out against my background. And that is going to finish off this card once I get that stamped. So if you would like to see some still photos, you can head over to my blog and see some photos. And as always, make sure you head over to the Penguin Palace Stamps website you are gonna to wanna to pick up this stamp set from their brand new summer release. It is so, so cute. Thank you guys for joining me. I will see you next time. Bye.